All right, let's give it a try. Hey there, so in my last vid I showed you guys how I updated my parabolic trough cooker that I made a few years ago. This vid I wanted to show you a few updates I did to this 3 foot parabolic dish. Not as extensive, but pretty cool. First thing I did was to remove the tin foil, cut it into six pie shaped sections, and then reaffix it down to the poster board. That gives it a nice flat finish for higher temps. Then I trimmed it around the edge and glued that down nice and smooth, so no chance of wind getting underneath it or anything like that. Before it was kind of scruffy. And I secured down the pie-shaped strips with some reinforcer strips, six of them, where the, each section meets. And finally, just added a six-inch disc in the middle and glued that down. Even with the clouds, it works pretty good, as long as they're only thin. There's the focal point right there. If I could just get the clouds to go away, this thing might catch on fire. Dinner time. I wonder if I can eat what's under there. Probably. Careful. Well, some of it's edible anyway. So to use these, you can either use a stand, or you can just use a roasting fork and hold it in the focal point. Here's a shot of the stand I use. Essentially all it is is two steel posts. In the fencing area they sell these steel posts that are about three feet long, and they have the pre-drilled holes. So you just buy a couple of them, bolt at the height you want it, then at the top, that's just a flower pot ring with the optional stove ring. Fits right inside of it. And that's a little tube clamp or tube strap hooked to a piece of wood. The wood is the one weak point in this whole thing because everything else is metal, but it's been nine years and going strong, so works out okay. Just make sure the focal point doesn't hit the wood. So you can buy the professional version of this for anywhere from $100 to $400, or you can make it yourself for seven. If you're interested in seeing any more on this, here's a few last shots of the original full build video, and I'll post the link to that video in the description below, or just check my YouTube channel.